TradeMoneyATM.com. But literally, books or or video is on the internet. Mm-hmm. So when, when I was younger, right, I had to go get an encyclopedia, go through it. Right. You didn't have an encyclopedia because you didn't invest in it in, in your uh, neighborhood. I'm from a you know an impoverished community originally. Uh, what what happened? Every family didn't say, "Hey, I'm going to pay 300 or whatever." That was a lot of money, <laughs> right back then, to to pay for an encyclopedia and it was more than that 300 to like 600 and it was, it was like a lot right 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 but now i could take my phone and let's say i don't know um just to give an example I, I don't know what a hedge fund okay so i don't know what a hedge fund is i hear the word i type it in hedge fund right mm-hmm. uh, hedge fund hedge fund definition pops up all right hedge fund a limited partnership of investors that use high risk methods such as investing with borrowed money right. in hopes of realizing large capital gains. Right. Now, I didn't know what that was a minute ago. Now I know, right? Right. And when I'm like, wait, if I thought that I needed money in order to capitalize from something, well, the billionaires borrowing money. They're billionaires, they're borrowing money. And they don't use the right? money, right? They borrow. <laughs> right. Whose money is that, it's you might li- ask? Whose money are they using? <laughs> uh, they borrow from banks. So it's basically your your money and my and who's, money. Yeah, whose money is in the bank? Yeah, who's who's silly enough to put their money in the bank? We do. We are. <laughs> right. so, so now yeah. we, we can do that, right? right? right. The same way um, everyone is realizing. So even this is biting them. <laughs> it, yes. It's... Once again, right? They attacked the small guy for doing this, for doing looking the at what they were doing, exactly. and saying, "Hey, oh wait, okay, I could go again. I could go counter to what you're doing, and because you overextended yourself, you're going to have to cover this, yes. right? Yes. And that's pretty much what happened. Exactly. Which is that's what they do to us on a daily basis every, so a company uh, the company that was forty dollars might have had other things going on and it might have went to 60 it might have went to 80 um they might you know there's a few things that that company could have done and and you know a company is a group of people they decide like hey you know um let's go and look at like let's say a blockbuster blockbuster may have at one time had the option to buy netflix they chose not to right now they're out of business right. imagine if you were shorting blockbuster at the time and they decided, or you didn't short them, and they just had the opportunity to, to actually make the right decision and buy Netflix, and Blockbuster evolved into Netflix. Mm-hmm. See what Netflix is today? Right, right. Just because you think a business is dying and going out of business doesn't mean there can't be a shift or a change that allows them to not only survive, but expand in a massive way, right? Right, right. And what they actually do by shorting and and driving the price down, they're limiting the company's ability to like, you know, basically survive right. in, in the long term. Right? If you push them down too much, they can go out of business. Right? right? GameStop's model of people buying, um, you know, things that they plug into their console. When I look at it, yeah, that's probably a dying model. Right. You know, let's honest right yeah, little, um, and the reason for that for sure. a lot of the uh, consoles and devices you could just download the game right however I'll tell you something what made me want to buy GameStop when it was you know five six seven dollars right okay. when it was lower right Christmas was coming and my children were saying hey we wanted games and, and the VR stuff to go with their games and it's like ah oh, we've in the past <laughs> purchased stuff from GameStop um, at one time I remember one Christmas we had to go to GameStop because everywhere else was running out of stuff mm-hmm. and we were able to get it from GameStop so to be a parent who you know your kids are happy you got them something I, that created a, a it's like they have um, equity with us right so it's like alright just that alone I started researching and they were you know, we're making deals with the companies. They're they were turning turning things around like, like a company should. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm like, wait a minute. If they do that, Christmas is coming. They have to get a boost. Everyone's in their home. Uh, more people are playing games. This is probably the last uh, summer, the last winter that the consoles, the last rendition of consoles that you're going to need the games, right? Right. Um, other After this, you download them. Yeah. And some, some things you don't even need the... The, the device it's like uh, we have a subscription too that you could just go and, and play it's not yeah, uh, sure. device centric right no, you can, um so it's an app you what, can run what, it on your desktop or your laptop and play games on yeah. right you don't, you don't I mean, need the, the console i have playstation right. now that's what it is i don't have a console but i can play playstation games on my pc with the playstation now app right right and so they i saw that as like they're gonna get a, a push up right 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 so buying it at that at the bottom price that it was driven to there's an upside to that mm-hmm. right and that's what we do in trade money atm we research and our mastermind comes together and kind of give that information to other members and we you know we're able to profit if if there's an option for that right now here's also what happened <laughs> around christmas time after getting what my my son wanted he literally wanted other games added to it and gamestop was the conduit for that basically we <laughs> went through gamestop even though you know it wasn't like gamestop created the the game that he was using but we got it through them and if they made deals with these uh game developers then they must have profited from that because we pay them or you know however that works right, right. um and so i'm like they could turn into a, a Netflix type model. There's many things they could do. Right, your man Pearl Q in the building for the ATM podcast. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we drop a new episode. Follow on all social media at Pearl Q ATM podcast. We'll see you guys in the next video. TradeMoneyATM.com.